I would say that yesterday I had this perfect day. It was a day where I did a little bit of work, a little bit of writing, a little bit of teaching, and a lot of things that I absolutely love to do that fill me up completely, including um, getting a massage and my massage therapist does cupping and she's, she's working on some junk in my wrist right now. The entire day just like flowed one thing into the other. I at no point felt too busy or too overwhelmed and I wanted to share with you how I did it because you can do this too. But probably your brain is lying to you. So let's, let's get real. Yesterday was a Monday and normally Mondays feel like, oh, like, oh my God, I have so much to take care of and I have to jump in and there's so much to do. And we set up ourselves with these to-do lists and we're like, we'll get them done the entire week. It'll get, we'll, we'll start on Monday. And I did not set myself up like that. Hi to who's ever out there. Um, but it was a Monday. So I don't want you to think that this was a weekend day, but there were three things I did to set up this perfect day. And I want to start with the number one thing, which is my mindset. So back when I was a teacher, a Monday would be a really hard day. Monday would be like, oh my God, should I call in today? Is it more work for me to get a sub than it is to just go in? Do I have sub plans ready? Like I would constantly be thinking about how to get out of my Mondays back in the day when I was teaching. And Mondays kind of, I don't know if you get this thing on Sunday night where you feel that let down, like, oh, I don't like that feeling. And so I've set myself up in my work, in my business that I do certain things on Mondays, but I usually don't see clients on Mondays. I really want to take that day to kind of set up for success. And that is a huge mindset shift right there. So I bet that you're listening to me going, sure, sure, yeah, like I, that could ever happen for me. And I want you to know that for years, I thought the same thing. I thought I could never have my life be the way I designed it. My number one core value is freedom. I really want freedom and time. And so this mindset shift has happened over the past six months where like I, I'm an entrepreneur. Maybe I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and do some of my writing, but I want the bulk of my day to be free. And so shifting that mindset and believing that this was something I first knew I wanted and then thought it was possible is the number one thing to getting my perfect day. So if you're out there constantly saying, it's never going to be that way for me. I don't know how this is for other people. This is not for me. Um, that is your first problem. And so when you start saying, this is what I want, this is what I want my days to look. This is what I'm dreaming of my days to look like. How can I make that happen? When you start asking your brain those good questions, you'll be shocked at the answers that come in. You'll be shocked at the opportunities that come in. But if you're constantly shutting them down, your perfect day is never going to happen. The second thing that requires you to be able to have your perfect day. Now your perfect day might not look like my perfect day, right? Like your perfect day might have zero writing, zero client work, zero teaching, and just like fun and play. But if you are too busy and you're making your life harder in lots of different ways, you're never going to get your perfect day. So take a look at what's going on in your head about being busy. I have so much to do. I had a client who came to me consistently every single week with a giant to-do list and was like, I just have too much to do. I can't get it done. And I would go through with her all of the stuff that didn't belong on her list, that wasn't hers to deal with, stuff she was choosing that was making her life harder. And she completely refused to make any of those changes. And she stayed busy. What does busy look like? Busy looks like taking on shit that's not yours. Busy looks like running around with your head cut off to solve everybody else's problem. Busy looks like last minute things that come up that you tell yourself you have to do. Busy looks like I have to do it in this certain way at this certain time and these are the rules. That's what busy does to us. Busy is a state of mind. Busy is not what's on your to-do list. So the second thing I did to achieve my perfect day is stop being busy. There's a lot I say no to. There's a lot I'm like, well, that's good enough. There's a lot that I push off and or hire somebody or, or give to somebody else that's not mine to take care of. I can't tell you the relief of not being busy. You maybe don't believe me right now. You maybe can't see it for yourself. I mean, that's literally my job to help people with. But if you are too busy, you're never going to achieve your goal. You're never going to grow that business. And then the third thing that I did 
Was I planned it? And now I, I work with a lot of highly creative people. So please stick with me, especially if you're highly creative, because highly creative people are like, screw the planning. I want to be spontaneous. And next month, I'm going to talk about this a lot more deeply. But freedom is in the planning, my friends, because if you think like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to have a spa day today. It doesn't work like that because a whole bunch of weeds will come up. You won't be able to get the appointment. You're going to be stuck. And you're never going to have your perfect day unless you carve out the time to have it. So unless you're doing those three things, you're never going to have your perfect day. And the, the, the thing I really want to talk about here is it doesn't have to be grand. Like your perfect day does not have to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be expensive. It basically starts with two things. What do I want and what do I not want? Like what bullshit will I not put up with? anymore. And when you start to claim those things and say, oh, that would be really nice. Oh, that's a possibility. Oh, how can I get that? That's when you start, your day starts to come to you. Your perfect day starts to come to you. So if you're struggling to grow your business and that's all you really want because you've got all of these ideas swirling around your head, but you're constantly stuck in the busy and calling it being productive. And that's another lie that we tell ourselves. If you're busy and you're telling yourself you're productive, if you're busy and you're saying, but that's how I'm worthy in the world, I know how hard that is because I'm 49 years old and I've been struggling with this for a long time and I have figured out how to make my perfect days happen for me regularly. You can have this too, I promise you. Start with those three shifts. And if you are really looking for somebody to take you through this, my, my online program is designed specifically for this. It's affordable. It's a community, you're not alone, you're not overwhelmed. I'm going to teach you how to create more time and then implement your ideas. Because the whole thing about your ideas is you can have ideas all day long, but unless you're doing something with them, you're gonna be frustrated. Why aren't you doing something with them? The number one reason is you don't have time. So this is the first step for you to get the time to have your perfect day. And I hope this is helpful. If you really like this, let me know what your perfect day would look like. Put, put some ideas down below. What would your perfect day look like? Thank you for watching all the way through. I'm Jen Liddy. I'm a business development coach, and I am so glad that you watched this. Appreciate it. Bye.